I've always really liked math. Um, I have always found it really fun to work out problems in a logical way um, ever since I was a little kid. But um, then when I started studying as an undergraduate and now as a graduate student, I've started to realize that everything in the world can be related back to math. You can answer any question um, mathematically and it's uh, really fun to think of the world through a lens of mathematics. They say that 100 years is a long time in America and to be surrounded by buildings that or to be able to see things that are actually much older than what you would typically see in the United States is really nice. I really like the satisfaction you get from understanding, uh, like if you get a hard problem and, and you can't understand it in, uh, in the beginning, but then after studying it for a while you suddenly get this insight and you feel like you really sort of, you, you really learn something about the problem. And that gives a great satisfaction. The program at Stockholm offers a very high degree of flexibility in what you study. Uh, so I in particular am interested in abstract algebra and combinatorics. Uh, by itself in a mathematical context that's just very interesting but it also has many uh, it has much application in the field of computer science so uh, what the program here offers is the opportunity to study both the mathematics which I find very interesting and augment my education with useful classes in that they were, are appealing to an employer. The courses here are, are very rigorous um, they cover a lot of material so you really feel like you are like fully immersed in whatever subject you're learning. Um, uh, most of the professors are really open to answering questions. There are teaching assistants also who are available to answer questions. So for the most part, I would say 80% or 90% of the time, you, uh, you, you feel like you're really getting a good understanding of what you're learning. Having completed a master's in mathematics, is, uh, it shows that you have been a de dedicated person, that you have put a lot of effort into what you're doing, and, and that you also have this sort of logical thinking. You're able to read a complicated text and understand what it says. And I think this is a very attractive, attractive skill to have. I ideally would like to get my PhD here, um, hopefully at Stockholm University, and um, I probably won't continue in academia. Probably I will work at a startup or um, some company once I have my PhD where I can do something mathematically based. <laughs>